Good afternoon, RV Nation. Jim and Cindy here, and we are at Jock's, Jockey Ridge State Park in uh, the Outer Banks of North Carolina in Kent. Kitty Hawk, isn't it? Or is this Kill Devil's Hill? Kitty Hawk or Kitty Kill Hawk. Devil's I Hill? Think it's, yeah, somewhere. One of them. Anyways, I guess they have a uh, little beach area here. So we're going to check that out. They got a uh, hang gliding school here. I would like to check that out. I used to go hang gliding with my Uncle Nate all the time in Arizona. Uh, but there you see we got uh, the hang glider there. Oh, there you go. Dog parking 10 minutes. Mm -hmm. So I could have brought my girls. Although today we had a deer come out by... Uh, the campsite and then our dog rocky or uh not rocky i'm thinking uh <laughs> my dog rocky passed away a couple years ago so i don't know why i just said his name but my dog lucy uh decided that it was time for her to go chase deer so she ran off and it took quite a while to get her back so they're in the camper being punished right now so we'll go into this visitor center and we'll check that out and uh find the beach and go from there we are in uh, the North Carolina State Park uh, Visitor Center. So here's some of the animals that they've got. Yeah, well I had, uh, remember when we went to that RV show they had, uh, I got video of all the owl. Yeah, but different little animals that are here. Here's the foxes. Now this river otter here looks very different than the one that we have over at Pea Island. This one looks mean, the one at Pea Island looks real nice. So a nice little display of uh, different animals and whatnot. So we're going to head out and uh, go to the sand dunes. You want to go to the sand dunes? Let's roll. So a nice little area here for sure there's the hang gliding school right over there here's a little information about uh, alternative energy and this way to the sand dunes so let's go So for $5 donation, you can be the proud owner of a one square foot piece of Jockey's Ridge and receive a certificate and a gift. That's kind of cool. All right, well, we'll head over to the sand dunes and uh, the young lady we spoke to in there, I was asking her about uh, uh, work camping or whatever, but they don't do anything here. But she was extremely helpful, gave uh, some information of other parks that are around. Uh, she even called a few of them for me. And she actually said that she was going to be looking as soon as she retires. Her and her husband were going to head out and do the same kind of thing, just travel around in their RV. So we'll go over and look at the sand dunes and then uh, see if we can't find this little beach somewhere. That would be their little hang gliding school, kind of. But you can kind of get the perspective of how high, how tall the sand uh, sand dune is. Mm -hmm. um, you have the ocean side over there, beach side over there, and then you have the sound side over here. And just look at the, you can see them houses directly out front. This is just massive right up over them. So I don't know if you heard uh, when Cindy was talking, but there's rumor that there's a putt-putt course as well as a motel that is underneath this somewhere. People say it's not true. 
other people say it is because they lived here or they lived in it right they, they lived here their grandparents their grandparents owned it, owned it stuff like that but it's kind of cool and they said it, it what is it again uh inch or two inches every year this sand continues to move so I'm assuming with the way it's moving it will head out to the sound area and just kind of make this stretch of the uh, outer banks a little bit wider I guess but I think we walked quite a ways already I think we're gonna head over to where the little beach area is sound good all right let's walk back done walking up the uh, sand dune she's already getting ready I'm sweating my ass we uh and it's went up the sand dunes it's thundering now but we're at uh the sound side oh, of jockey really ridge water. so we asked one of the gentlemen uh that had the food truck and he said that uh there was an easier way to get here other than walking back up over the dunes so is it comfortable so we're gonna go ahead and jump in and cool off a little bit and uh but look at this could you ask for anything more in life but again this is the sound side so that's why it's so much more calmer than where we're at uh on the ocean side or the uh uh beach side I guess is what they call it around here all right well we had left the uh, beach um, the sound side and uh, we got caught in a little bit of a rainstorm so we kind of went in between uh, P Island uh kitty hawk area and curatuck and found this came across this little section of beach here so we're gonna go uh seashell hunting for a minute and uh after that last little storm came through we're gonna see if we can't find anything she found lots. But that one's not called a conch shell. What is it? A uh, welch. A welch? Welch. welch. So I'm looking for a welch. Looks very similar to a conch shell. And I'm told that after a uh, nor'eastern uh, storm comes through, then you'll be able to find some up on the shore. So we're just kind of making our way all the way down towards Curratuck and uh, stopping at different endpoints of the beach so that way we can check out the different shells going all the way down. out here by ourselves what you said they have way better shells here way better yeah they're all like big and together oh we'll have to go further down next time we'll just take a walk we got the best of us on that last one so we didn't close it out so if you guys can please give me a thumbs up on the video subscribe if you haven't already subscribed next to the subscribe button is a little bell click on that bell and you'll be notified anytime i put a new video up so until next time, we'll see you guys later.